Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Wolong Fallen Dynasty, because we're Irish. We're Irish, you see. I'm the Mysterious GG. Um, so in the last video we defeated you on Shao, I had a moment of panic thinking we'd uh, gotten the final boss too early. But in fact, now it is a little mystifying. Well, where's the story going? We just beat you on Shao, but the level's not over. Let's find out. A couple of things are going on here. Um... I actually didn't notice what gear, if any, we got. Uh, have we got any new inventory that's worth looking at? Is there like a Yuan Shao set? Lubu Mightiest Among Men? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like Yuan Shao drops a Yuan Shao cosplay. You never get to fight with him as an ally, for example. Now... Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. I've never changed this around. I don't even know that I noticed you could. Find Beast by who is one of the four gods, blah, blah. I'm not sure what these... Oh, I haven't used these at all. This is probably not the time to start. Metal Face, Spell, Spirit... Cost is well, it's good because I keep unlocking new divine beasts and not doing anything with them. Because I, you know, I don't think I knew anything about the like I, I, I had not, I, I just kind of missed it. I knew that it was a part of, um, okay, auto sabotage, auto sell. Yeah, I've never looked at this before. So we've been playing with uh, him the whole time. Or at least for a long time. And it damage amplification upon whatever. Metal uh, negative effect duration on enemies increased is good. Spirit damage increased is good. These are all things I like. Uh, it's possible we've had the right one all along. Spirit damage to enemies with wizardy spell damage is probably good. Yeah, Tengshi's not bad. Because I like to do status stuff, so Tengshi's pretty good. Enormous flying snake associated with a metal phase. Symbol of diligence in the work of Jun, Jun Kang and the poetry of Cao Cao. Oh, is this Cao Cao spirit animal then? Could be. By Shu. I'm trying to figure out who we got each one from. This might be one of the ones that you start with. Uh, martial arts. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, morale point gain. That's not terrible. Enemy detect. Range attack damage. Don't care. Ammo replenishment. Don't care. Enemy detect is nice. Oh, this is what we just got from, uh... Okay, well, it's like Bai, Bai Hu is pretty much what we would have been using anyway. Uh, metal, fee, metal phase, negative effect duration on enemies plus, and then Tang Shi, which is also metal phase, is the other one we would have been using. So, okay. I, I guess it's happy that it doesn't seem like those do as much as the Spirit Beasts did in uh, Neo anyway. Which is probably why I'd... Like, you know... Maybe the reason I haven't poked at him too much is because I somehow instinctively sensed that it didn't matter. <laughs> Alright, yeah, see, I had this notion, oh, I could go over here to the left and explore, and maybe the other flags are here. No, there was nothing here. So we did get to the end, and there was no place to go except to fight you on Shao, but it made me nervous about continuing, and, it turned, and I'm glad I looked it up so that I could fight with the confidence of knowing that the level was over, because I was going to intentionally throw the fight and lose a bunch of morale levels, and then be like, oh shit, um, there isn't any place else to go.
Hey, what up, lady? That's that dragon. I recognize its howl. That's the wolf man, baby. Yes, the be there as well. Huge boy. <laughs> Alright, so that's the big flag. Now we have to pay attention to like keep our eyes peeled for any little flags that we might miss. Yeah, it kind of looks like we could drop down there. Would we take damage? I just saved. I guess this is the time to find out. Hey, friend. Yuan's head senior general. Pride of an indomitable champion. Quake Griffin the Hammer. Man of Benevolence Crown. I was assigned the hideous task of shooting South South General with an elixir laced arrow and causing disruption amongst their ranks. Just I'll just divide time for my allies. It seems my skillfulness with a bow is a curse, not a blessing. If I succeed, I will be at the mercy of Cao Cao's men. And if I fail, Yuan Chao will make an example of me. Curse that rotten two-faced Yuan Chao. The demon of the fire of Yuan Chao's forces brushed off our arrows like they were matchsticks. What could we do in the face of such power but surrender? Taken captive. We awoke in the middle of the night to a terrifying sound. The landscape outside turned into a twisted abomination with demons rising left and right. God, is this what the netherworld looks like? Um, that seems possible. Strategist of genius. At this point, I think I'm just looking for, um... Unscrupulous hero's right hand. I'm just kind of looking for, um... Oh no, what? there's no point in that. It's just gonna trade it for something. I was kind of looking for, uh... I know I've got good, uh, Sir Magnificent Beer gear. Whatever, we'll trade this in. I was going to trade in something from the South South set and try to get something else, but then I was like, oh wait, what's the point? Like, he won't give me something from the South South set. I was looking to see if I'd gotten any new fancy swords. A dizzy flute. I suppose having gone to that trouble, I should see if it's any good. Elemental damage. Water face spell, copper tension, marking flag detention. Not bad. Golden cicada show. All right, well, that was a... So this area would be considered like a secret. They put the golden cicada shells in secret areas. Hope we didn't wake you there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, whatever. I don't care. Rank 9 Steel. Yeah, no, it's definitely worth coming down here. Uh, rank 9 Steel is a good loot at this point. The question is, how the hell do we get back out? I kind of assumed there would be a way out. Because the game is not really going to let us soft lock. Okay. And it'll be carefully positioned so that you can hop back up and you can't see it from above. Yes. Perfect. What did you we'll say again? What my brother set out to do. But, we'll but he set out to nail you. Oh, well, that's in every other game. This will be a fight unlike any we've had. Let's make sure we are fully prepared for this. Of course. We'll finish what my brother set out to do. But let's make sure we are fully. Are you fully prepared to not be in my party since I already have our ultimate allies, our true heroes of the three kingdoms, are of course Jun Yu and Jihadun. Hmm. 
We definitely left that. Oh, you? Oh, wow. Good for you. You crawled all the way after us. Congratulations. Because I thought I heard us summoning an enemy down there. And, uh... But we really, we really got to keep an eye out for this little mini flag. When I glanced at the at the the guide, it did. I did see that it said last flag. You can't miss it after you on Shao. And the mini marking flag, it said the same thing. Can't miss it. So I'm really hoping I don't miss it because I'll feel dumb if I miss it. They basically said impossible. like through here all right I know this is not exactly uh, pro level um, content but now I am like okay shit that that's the that's the door like we go through that door this levels over so what the hell Near the objective point before entering the boss area, it's on the left side, opposite where the last battle flag for this mission is. Near the objective point before entering the boss area. Well, the, I mean, it says it's on the left, opposite where the last battle flag is, so... The question is, do they mean the Yuan Shao boss area or this one that we just climbed up to? Well, the last battle flag for this area is at the bottom of these, quote, stairs. So to the left opposite of this would be actually where we were down here uh, exploring before. See, I think, I think that over there is well and truly, because there's no, like, I saw uh, the little sleepy dude that we get loots from. Because I think that this area in the foreground here, that, that it looks like maybe you could hop to, no, that's well and truly just background art. There's nothing, there's nothing there to indicate that you can interact with it once you get there. So I can poke around here more carefully, but... Let's lose, uh, let's lose points at the last possible second here. But no, we have, we have flag, uh, detection power, which is not indicating anything is going on. So I don't think this is it. Maybe they mean opposite the last, uh, flag before the Yuan Chao boss room, which again is right in that room. Or right outside that room. I always take a good poke around in this room, but it, I think this is just a big empty boss arena. We have to find some something to fight anyway, because we want to get that 25 points back. isn't making me happy i don't want to spend a whole video on this nonsense but now i'm starting to worry that uh, either we missed it earlier or b are we supposed to um oh 
All right. I, I'm sorry. This would be like the freaking worst video ever. I'm going to just quick pull up a video on the marking flags and just see where it is. Because it could be that, it, like, you know, they're numbered in such a way. It could be that I actually got the last one. Or, or number seven, but that I didn't get uh, all the ones before that. You know, I missed one that's from earlier in the level. So I'm just going to do a quick search here. There is, by the way, someone who's just been, like, commenting nonstop on Legend of the Sanada. Which is, like, I keep opening. It's like, wow, I've got, like, ten comments. They're all from the same person. They're all just like, oh, I'm liking this series, which is good. <laughs> but it's like, okay, I'm old. I'm not sure how to react. Um, decisive battle of Guandu flags. There we go. What's up, guys? We're Dude Perfect, and we've teamed up with Smoothie King to make the perfect smoothie. Let's show them how I don't know if you're hearing about the perfect smoothie here or not, but uh, that is the ad that played. Okay, now they're running around. They are they are getting the last main flag, but they've got all the minor flags at this point. Shit. So I can't tell exactly where um, where to go. Like I, I think I, if we can't, so we're, yeah. I'm sorry. This video is going to be a bit of a mess. Then we're going to backtrack and try to try find this flag. But I've confirmed uh, it is not like past this boss fight with Yuan Shao. The last big flag is past the boss fight with Yuan Shao. We should have all the little flags when we get here. So let's uh, let's start like carefully. Exploring the back, you know, let's do a little backtracking, I guess, is what I'm saying. Definitely saw some jumping off of the side of a... Uh Definitely saw some jumping off of the side of one of these... Uh I see my, my partners can uh, aggro these people by just unlocking them. That's part of what's been happening in some of these uh, levels where I was like, why am I being attacked? It's because they found new enemies to uh, annoy. So enemies that are already out there on the map uh, will completely ignore them if they're running around the map trying to catch up with me. But if they uh, knock over one of those like flying blood clot things and an enemy comes out of it, then that enemy will in fact suddenly be a threat. Okay. So what I'm going to do is spend the next couple of minutes looking for this flag and profusely apologizing for any inconvenience I may have caused. And uh, between video, like if we can't find, if we can't find it, great. If we can't, um, then this will segue over into me um, looking up the flags between videos. Although, honestly, we might just have to make our way back towards the beginning of the stage, because 
There's a whole bunch of samey looking, like, weird demon shit branch paths that they all look exactly the same, and we're going to have to deal with a whole bunch of them. And, like, for me to go back and watch a video of someone else and, like, feel confident in any way, shape, or form that I'm finding... See, now that... Oh, I thought that was, like, some kind of lit path of something happening. But it's, in fact, a uh, chunk of that gate. fuck was that? I did an evade thing and it like uh, it just segues directly into uh, you know what I'm gonna do another flashing red the same move like I didn't even get a chance to take advantage of doing the evade thing successfully or the parry thing I should say All sorts of magnificent beard cure. <laughs> There's some dude in here just mumbling away. Oh, at least I know where this enemy came from that we missed before. Yuan Shao's most faithful guy mumbling away in here, raising unit morale. Uh, yeah, I'm annoyed at the situation now. It's always kind of frustrating if you creep your way through these levels trying to find every last bit of secret and then you end up with all but one like mini flag located. Cursed Star of Heon. Awesome. I knew whoever this would ah! was, they would throw something that caused like burning damage and make me feel like a sucker. <sighs> <laughs> yeah! I'm so awesome. Oh, this is promising. This looks like a kind of hidden type of place. Maybe this is a way you get back from somewhere else. It sure looked like a hidden type of place that you would want to get to. Yeah, that was really prominent. That that setup there with that that jump and then a little path kind of twisted behind something that you you know you could see someone not noticing it like that was that felt really promising to me. But it uh, I don't know. So, I've put myself in a position to have to re-navigate all this bullshit. Definitely seem to be hidden 
Like I thought I saw in just just flipping around in that video, some of the area that looked like this was a place where a hidden flag was found, but I, it may be one I've already got. <laughs> Seems like an area where, like, it looks like there's ground over there you might be able to stand on somehow, some way. <sighs> or that thing. That thing kind of looks promising, too. How the hell would you get over there, though? Okay, well, this is the surface you got to where there was, like, a little path behind that I thought would be a thing and wasn't, so it's not like I can't get to the top of that thing from the main path. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Like, it could be it's way earlier on the level, and we're circling and recircling and re-re-recircling stuff I've already cleared, but... this. Well, we haven't been here before, because there's a perma loot here. <gasps> is that it, or is that one we've already got? That looks kind of yellowish. All right, I think we've already got that one. Oh, here it is. Okay, it was kind of... It wasn't, like, directly to the left. Yeah. Okay, so the description wasn't that bad, actually. It's off to the left. But you got to jump past it. It said unmissable. I didn't think that was unmissable, guys. <laughs> Anybody would think I timed it this way, because now we are at the end of a video, and we finally got all of this stuff. So for me, that's more of a completionist thing, having a fortitude rank of eight, uh, 17 or 20 instead of 17 or 18 or whatever is probably not that big of a thing. But I think we can go take a crack. I think UG is flying. Like, if we're fighting UG next, I believe he's flying around on a dragon. Which means that our, like, area of effect ground poison field spell is probably going to be absolutely worthless. But it's worked well enough for us in a lot of situations that I, it doesn't feel like... Ah! Focus on recovering. Oh, fuck. Oh, it didn't take... Well, that's interesting. It didn't take any health away from me. <laughs> this game is, uh... I guess it gets nasty hard, these boss fights in the DLC, I was warned. But boy, like, Neo would not only have, like, uh... Made that a, lo a death and taken all of your Amrita away from you. It, it would have, like, given you a, an extra special... Fuck you, what the hell? How are you getting, how are you getting yourself killed when there's no, no, no pressure on you, dumbass? message or is this game's just like uh i guess you have one hit point now 
like this game's trying to be more gentle about like you're exploring whether there's special oh you know you know pro part of the reason might be a conscious decision because this game gives you a whole lot more freedom of movement with jumping around and shit so maybe maybe a conscious decision was made not to punish you for exploring different places where you might be able to jump but no that was uh that was me screwing up i'll probably screw up more next time uh although if i don't i think we might be really close to winning uh the main story of wolong fallen dynasty we'll see bye bye